Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. For us to celebrate these sacred mysteries worthily, we first acknowledge our sins, be sorry for them, and now we ask for God's forgiveness. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And we pray. O God who willed your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, grant us your servants to attain the grace of the resurrection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I may know how to speak to the weary a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. 
my face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let him confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. For your sake, I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons, because seal for your house consumes me and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me lord in your great love answer me insult has broken my heart and i am weak i looked for sympathy but there was none for consolers not one could i find rather they put gall in my food and in my thirst, they gave me vinegar to drink. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds, he spurns not. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Please stand. Hail to you, our King. You alone are compassionate with our errors. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, we love and The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They put him thirty pieces of silver. And from that time on, he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him. The teacher says, My appointed time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve, and while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him, one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord, he said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes as it is written of him. But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. 
it would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We are now on the last day of the season of Lent, 40 days after Ash Wednesday. And tomorrow, we, the church begins or starts the Paschal Triduum, preparation for the great feast, the Easter. Well, the last day of the season of Lent, we reflect on how much the price tag, how much to betray and to crucify God. How much? How much to betray a friend? Not just a friend, but a true one who had loved so much to betray. How much? What's the price tag? How much to destroy relationship? How much to give up one's principles in life? How much? What's the price tag? 30 silver pieces? Well, I remember there's a song by Jesse J. The first part of that song, it says, It seems everybody's got a price. It seems everybody got a price. Or everybody's got a price. And I wonder... How they sleep at night? Do they still being bothered by their conscience? It's not just about money. It's about betraying. Maybe it's the price is not money, but maybe a favor. I wonder how they could sleep at night. I wonder how Judas was able to sleep. 30 silver pieces. And you know, my dear friends, these people we call the 30 silver pieces, they thrive. And even beyond Easter Sunday, they will thrive. The 30 silver pieces will continue. Don't expect that when Easter comes, these 30 pieces of silver will be gone also. No. It will continue even thrive. They will thrive. And they will even climb the higher echelons of society. And I wonder how they could sleep at night. But my dear friends, these 30 silver pieces would simply ask the people, Surely it is not I. Surely it is not I. And just give a people a consuelo di bobo of those maybe a few or one silver piece. And the rest, one would keep it. And before the Lord, because one gave one piece of silver coin and before the Lord one would say surely it is not I Rabbi or surely it's not I who got the the bigger part of the cake Rabbi grafters frauders they will thrive even after Easter Cheaters, betrayers, they will continue even after Easter. And I said, they would even grow bigger and bigger in numbers. How much? How much to destroy one's soul? How much to lose one's peace in one's heart? What's the price tag?
But you know, my dear friends, I remember a story of a young man who was nicknamed Anes Abe, Anes Abe or Anes Abe. This young man walked more than two miles to bring back that six centavos that the old woman over overgave in purchasing some of its merchandise in a new Salem store where this young man was working. So this old woman gave more than the price or the purchase of the merchandise. This young man who was working in that Salem store walked more than two miles just to return six centavos. An act of honesty, an act of truthfulness. No wonder in many of his acts of goodness, he was nicknamed Honest Abe. Honest Abe. Six centavos compared to 30 silver pieces. But these six centavos would remind each one of us it takes a widow's might. It's a widow's might. Six centavos. What's that? It's nothing. In our own time, it's nothing. But that six centavos, a widow's might, can bring back peace, can restore relationship of trust. The widow's might, that six centavos, can bring back severed relationship, old friendship, severed by betrayal, that six centavos can bring back freedom, that six centavos can bring back happiness. My dear friends, we are invited. Maybe it's not us. Surely it's not I, Rabbi. Surely it's not I, Lord. But the invitation for us is this. In the history of humanity, relationship with God, of course, the problem of frailty and sin. But it's not so much about frailty and sin. But it's much about defensiveness. Defensiveness and denial. The first part of the book of Genesis, Adam said, It's not I, Lord. Is the one you created, that woman. Later, on that part of the book of Genesis, God asked, or Yahweh asked, Cain, Cain, where is your brother? And Cain said, Am I my brother's keeper? It's not about so much of sin and frailty. It's about defensiveness and denial. Surely it is not I, Rabbi. The invitation for us, my dear friends, let's bring our own brokenness. Bring our own brokenness before the Lord. Let's bring our own what we call pains to the Lord. Remember, again, the Gospel of Matthew, the last part, about the 30 silver pieces, it was used to purchase a land called Potter's Potter's place or Potter's land where broken broken pieces of what they call things were being thrown there. Broken. Let's bring ourselves our own brokenness and pains to the Lord.
In the evening of the Passover, Jesus reclines at table with the twelve apostles. The Lord is distressed not just at the prospect of his passion, but also at the failure of the apostles, especially Judas Iscariot and Simon Peter. So let us pray for the grace to be faithful. Lord, in your great love, answer us. Lord, in your great love, answer us. May we shun the love and idolatry of money, which lead people to exploit the poor and the powerless and make them disposable and dispensable. We pray. Lord, Lord in your, your great love, love answer us. us. May we not enter into darkness and into the power of Satan by our betrayal of the Lord and our brothers and sisters. We pray. Lord, in your great love, answer us. May we reject the ways of Judas, who betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. May we not turn traitor to our conscience, to our country, to our oaths for political power and financial gains. We pray. Lord, in your great love, answer us. May we prepare to eat your Passover meal at the Last Supper tomorrow through our love and devotion to the Holy Eucharist, we pray. Lord, in your great love, answer us. May we celebrate the Paschal Triduum immersed in prayer and recollection and with minds and hearts renewed, we pray. Lord, in your great love, Answer us. O oh Lord God, you are greater than our hearts. Your grace overcomes our weaknesses. May we celebrate the Paschal festivities, not only with bodily observance, but above all with purity of mind. Amen. Amen. Pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his people. And receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings made here, and graciously grant that celebrating your Son's passion in mystery, we may experience the grace of its effects through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up. Let us you. give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed, and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we do give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Patricia, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, Saint Sebastian, Saint Zeli and Louis Martin, Saint Therese of the Child Jesus, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name, 
Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, the away the sins of the world, have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are invited to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy to enter under my roof. Only say only the word, Lord, and my soul, and my shall, soul be shall be healed.
we pray. Endow us, Almighty God, with the firm conviction that through your Son's death in time, to which the revered mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of perpetual life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Be reminded of the schedules of the Paschal Triduum starting tomorrow, Holy Thursday, at 5.30 in the afternoon, Good Friday, at 3.30 in the afternoon, Easter Vigil, Saturday, at 7 in the evening, and Easter Sunday, at 7 in the morning. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow our heads and receive God's blessing. Grant your faithful, O Lord, we pray, to partake unceasingly of the Paschal Mysteries and to await with longing the gifts to come, that, persevering in the sacraments of the rebirth, they may be led by Lenten words of newness life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the Mass is ended. We all go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.